level isn't going up. Instead, it's only the vapor that is increasing and therefore increasing the pressure. Well, 2300 is not a downscale, so I think that there's some amount of water there. I don't think that that's a viable explanation, though. What I mean to say is the flow rate to date and the flow rate that is evaporating, I think that even as a coincidence, they need to match in order for the water level to not change. I think that the correct uh, assumption would be that the water that has been injected has all evaporated. Uh, every, single piece, every single bit of water that has been injected has evaporated and is completely empty. We cannot give you an answer at this moment. Let me get back to you. Because you're putting water and the water level is not rising. It does not explain things. It is not viable, isn't it? Well, regarding the amount and data we currently have, it's based on presumptuous calculations, but we need to look at this more in detail. Well, let me get back to you on this answer. And also in this handout, the usual temperature is 280 or 290 degrees, but you are saying that it is up to 300 or so. Where does this information come from? How were you able to actually measure this? And can you give us your views about this number? Was this on the home page, the website? Not the handouts, but the website? Well, we do need to confirm that point. We do not have necessary data. Well, when you are venting, considering a way to vent the air, I'm sure you had adequate data or information regarding the temperature and pressure. And that information was released on our home page. Well, we're not aware of this. We will confirm and get back to you. Well, that was the news conference by Tokyo Electric Company of TEPCO. The officials said that although initially they planned to release air from the containment vessel of the number three reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, they uh, decided to postpone the operation for a while because the pressure stabilized. Now, once again, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, workers are prepared to release air from the containment vessel of the number three reactor to bring down the pressure inside. The plant operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, says the rising pressure stabilized after 3 p.m. Japan time, leading them to postpone venting air for the time being. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency previously said the pressure inside a vessel was rising despite efforts to cool the reactor. The agency said if venting is done, workers will first try to release the air through a suppression pool to reduce the amount of radioactive substances released into the atmosphere. If the initial venting is unsuccessful, workers will release air directly from the vessel. In the case of a direct release, the level of radioactive iodine in the air could increase 100-fold. Reducing air pressure is necessary to protect the containment vessel for the reactor, which keeps radioactive materials inside the reactor. The agency says it agreed with TEPCO that it is absolutely essential to release gases despite the expected increase in radiation levels. The agency adds it has no plan to widen the evacuation area for this operation. Tepico says workers installing power cables in the plant are continuing their work. Japan's National Police Agency says more than 8,100 people died as a result of the massive quake and tsunami. That's the worst death toll in a natural disaster in Japan since World War II. More than 12,000 people are still missing. The people who are evacuated to shelter still face various difficulties. Some survivors are staying in the cars. More than 250,000 people are residing in 2,300 shelters in the affected prefectures. Many of the shelters are short of food, water, and other essential supplies. 
Up next, the extended world weather forecast.